St. Lucia's collateral registry of movable assets has reached another milestone in the implementation phase. The collateral registry is an online database of movable assets that supports the Security Interest in Movable Properties Act passed in Parliament in 2022. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, has spearheaded the coordination and implementation of this legislative reform, which is projected to boost economic activity in St. Lucia by making access to finance easier for micro, small and medium enterprises. Economist and project lead at the NCPC, Sharma Mathre, highlighted the significance of this phase of the project. We are very well pleased to be at this juncture. Of course, this project entails two phases, the development of the software as well as the installation of the hardware. And things are happening. Um, the equipment is being delivered. The um, hardware is being installed today and we are very thankful to the officials at the Ministry of Tourism, um, particularly the OECS Regional Tourism Competitiveness Project for providing the funding of this aspect of the project. Toyla Lagon, Tourism Projects Coordinator at the OECS Regional Tourism Competitiveness Project, ORTCP, said this is but one of the activities funded by the project but it is one that is highly anticipated to provide tremendous opportunities for many St. Lucians. Under this project, what we seek to do is to increase opportunities for the self-employed individual who wishes to earn their living within the tourism sector. How this factors into the tourism sector is that the movable assets registry allows for persons who do not have fixed assets to be able to have the opportunity to invest, self-invest. Pedro Sous, General Director of IOS Soft, the company contracted to install and set up the hardware component of the collateral registry, noted that this represents phase two of the project. We will, we will have the installation today, we will have the reception there of the equipment, we will physically validate that we receive the equipment. The equipment is being receptioned by three agencies, three organizations, and once it's received it, then we will proceed the date of today to do the installation here and in the second site. We work with our partner, our local supplier, his uh, name is Computer World. It's a world reputable company here in, in the island, and they're very professional. They are delivering everything in, in the right conditions, and like you see, it's a brand new equipment, everything is in the right conditions that have to be there. Daniel Francis, registrar at the Eastern Caribbean Court of Justice and the High Court, said achieving this phase of the project means the project timelines are being maintained, which should lead to a successful outcome for the overall project. What it means for us especially is an increased efficiency in the delivery of our services, the turnaround time for all of these related matters, the conduct of searches, retrieval of information regarding secured um, collateral, uh, the entire process for registration has now been streamlined and made that much more accessible and the two tenants that we thrive on here are equality before the law and equal access to justice and I think this is an incredible tool to allow for that. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council looks forward to the launch and full implementation of the St. Lucia Collateral Registry of Movable Assets in the coming weeks. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.